I don't have no friends. Like, I don't have any friends. I don't fuck with anybody from... I don't... I don't, I don't have no friends. I don't need friends. I feel like friends is a fucking crutch for some shit that I don't need. You you really don't need friends at all. I have a core base of, of people that I fuck with. I got like five, six people that, I just, that I've known my basically my whole life. Other than them, I don't really talk to nobody else. Me and other people be cool, but like I wouldn't talk to them every day because I don't... I just, got that type of connection I, I feel like i don't need that type of connection with them niggas to me a friend is pointless like nigga wh what is a friend gonna do for me especially people my age nigga i'm 18 i just graduated high school i fuck with one per i talk to one person from that high school one like i'm cool with a lot of people there but they are not my friends i got a few bros no friends that's how it was my whole high school career my nigga i just I didn't see a purpose to talk to niggas if I didn't have a reason to talk to you. Like, I'm not finna just become your friend just because I go to your fucking school. No, nigga, I don't fuck with you. I'm not finna fuck with you. And I don't mind you knowing that I don't fuck with you. Friends don't do shit but take you out of your element and take you farther away from yourself. And when you got friends, bro, all they do is just call you, tell you about their problems. Try to give you relationship advice. A whole bunch of some old bullshit. Y'all talk about other people's problems. It's like, you know, I don't really want that shit. I feel like with me, even with my bros, I don't really fit in with them niggas. But I'm with them niggas because they're my niggas. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really fit in. I don't think like they do. I don't really fit in with none of them niggas. I'm like the fucking eyeball out of the group. I don't like to go out. I don't like spending money. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people don't like spending money, but nigga, I really don't like spending money. Like, nigga tried to get me to go to Top Golf. I'm sitting there in the room. We was playing Rocket League. It was from the, the last video, but I ain't put it in there. We was sitting there playing Rocket League. And nigga, I'm just brainstorming all the fucking mechanics of how much money I would have to spend if I went to Top Golf. It's a 40 minute drive there and back. So that's like. 30 40 dollars of gas money you know that shit booming right now it's over three dollars top of that you pay for the top golf ticket which is another like 45 the food while you there nigga that's like a smooth hundred like nigga that's cheese for one night out nigga i don't have it like that i can't be doing that i can't have no go go one night and, and drop a hundred like that on some damn shit that don't even fucking matter nigga i'd rather go to the grocery store and drop a hundred on some fucking some fucking dried fruit and shit like that. <laughs> I'm not finna drop a hundred going to no fucking top golf. Man. That shit over with. On me, that's over with. I just realized that, you know, me having a friend doesn't benefit me at all. And I feel like it's a lot. It's that way for a lot of people. They just don't realize it. Like I was always one of them people that had a lot of friends, a lot of people around. In elementary. I was a fucking social butterfly, nigga. I was a quote-unquote popular kid. Everybody knew me. But when I got to middle school, bro, I didn't fuck with anybody except for them core group of friends. Because, first of all, everybody changed. Like, and duh, niggas grow up and shit like that. But it wasn't like that. Niggas, like, niggas act like they didn't know who you was to be popular with, like, the bigger kids. And I'm like, bro, first of all, y'all niggas is whack. <laughs> Second of all, I know you niggas. Like, bro, y'all don't even move like this. I don't know what the fuck y'all got going. Y'all don't even act like this. I, I just became antisocial. I didn't fuck with nobody. I didn't want to fuck with nobody. Like, people, my house used to be the hot spot. I used to have niggas in the driveway. We hooping. You know what I'm saying? Every day, summer, I'm at everybody else's house, everybody at my house. But bro, when I got to like eighth grade, all that shit was over with. I didn't, I didn't want to deal with nobody. Five, six of them, except for them, I didn't want to talk to nobody else. I felt the need. I didn't feel the need to talk to nobody else. And don't even get me started on high school, nigga. Now high school, I didn't talk to shit, cause I transferred to a Catholic school, predominantly white school, predominantly bullshit as well. So I used to sit in class like these at my desk, teacher. 
put that bullshit on the board and give me my assignment so I can finish this shit. To fucking learn, nigga. All oh, that shit's some bullshit anyway. Like, nigga, I was, I was there to hoop, nigga. That's all I cared about. Nobody give a fuck about no damn school, nigga. And them Catholic niggas is weird, bro. I'm not gonna label all Catholics weird, bro. But the Catholics that, that was at that school, nigga. Y'all gave y'all Catholic friends a bad rep. Because y'all niggas is weird. And if any one of y'all watching this, yes, nigga. You. You weird, nigga. Facts. Parents used to be like, you need to, you need to get good with these. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, I'm not getting good with none of them niggas. They used to tell me you need to, you know what I'm saying? Because these relationships you make now could lead to, you know, better things for you in the future. Like, you know, more opportunities for me. Because a lot of the people that went to that school, they was rich. Their parents was rich. Like, they got cheese. So me making a relationship with them could potentially make cause for an opportunity with me for like me to grow my own business or some shit like that because i could you know what i'm saying i got them type of connections i can make phone calls and shit like that but it's like bro i'm not finna fuck with nobody just for some shit like that i'm not finna no bro i'd rather meet genuine people that i genuinely fuck with and make some happen from there i'm not finna build no relationship off no fucking fallacy my nigga that's just not that's not even in me I don't even want to talk to niggas, so let alone the fact of build something fake with somebody. I just don't have the patience for that shit. I don't even have the patience to talk to a nigga that I fuck with. These niggas be dumb. These niggas be bullshit. They ain't talking about shit. I got off track, but like, bro, you don't need no friends, bro. All friends, all friends do is take you farther away from yourself. If you got hella friends, bro, you not gonna know who you is. Because you always gonna be with them friends. And you are who you hang with. So if your friends some hoes... You a hoe. Simple. To the ladies. If I see you with her, and I know her, her, and her, all track stars, as in, as in, you know what I'm talking about, nigga. As in her, you know, that I'm going to see you as the same thing. And if you tell me your body count is three, bitch is 19. Like, dead ass. Not finna get offline. I mean, you can't do it. I'm 18. I have zero friends. I have a few bros. And that's exactly how I want it to be. Uh, I have a supreme talent now. And I realize that I've gotten really good at this shit. And it's called not giving a fuck. When I tell you I genuinely just do not care about what people be talking about. I don't give a single fuck. If you ask me, I don't see a problem with it. And I, I really realized that yesterday when I went into work. I ain't gonna tell y'all where I work because cause niggas on the internet be weird and shit. Might fuck around and, you know what I'm saying? So, right, I go into work. I walk through the door. I work night shift. So, when I'm coming in, it still be people in there that work, like, sales and retail and shit. And they'd be like, hello, welcome to such and such where I work. You know what I'm saying? And... Like, the first two times, it was cool because I'm like, okay, I'm new. They don't know that I work here. And I'm like, yeah, what's up? I work here. And then they like, oh, uh, it's like, I work. I was like, I work here and whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. Now, this is the second week that I've been working there. And yesterday, they did the same thing. Hello, welcome to such and such. And I didn't say nothing this time. I just kept walking through the door. I'm not finna keep wasting my breath telling you niggas I work here when clearly you niggas have seen me working here before. I didn't say shit. I just kept walking. And I guess girlie took that some type of way. He talking about, well, hello to you too. I turn around like these. I kid you not. I'm walking this way. Looking this way, I said, and kept walking. Like, bro, like, what do you, what do you expect, my nigga? What the fuck you want some a rose and a kiss bitch like I, I don't fuck with you I don't know you I don't want to know you what are we talking about yeah okay common courtesy is being nice fuck that I don't care like that has people just be entitled to, to shit you're not entitled to get a single fucking word from me I don't have to say anything to you so you shouldn't be offended if I don't say anything to you when I be at work it really just be time for me to think you know what I'm saying <clears throat> when I'm at work, I don't really think about the work. I just be thinking about ways that I could do this. Like, play the game and not have to work. It's really just like a long-ass meditative space while doing slavery. And getting paid bi-weekly is crazy. 